already being called a masterpiece. The new movie, American Fiction, stars Jeffrey Wright as a novelist frustrated with the entertainment off of black stereotypes. So with his loyal literary agent, played by John Ortiz, by his side, he uses a pen name to publish a black book of his own. Watch this. Hello? Hello, Paula. Arthur, so wonderful to hear from you. Um, I hope that you are with the man of the hour. I am indeed. He's right here next to me. Mr. Lee? Uh, yeah, this is he. Oh, really? Uh, 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 yeah. Okay, um, yeah, I was a little confused at first, but... <laughs> <laughs> and John's with me now. Welcome, nice to see you. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. It's I mean, great to be here, back and on home. on this exciting day, too, you got, the movie just got two Golden Globe nominations, which is so exciting. When you first got this script, did you have a feeling that there was something special about it? Can you tell... Because you've done a lot you know, of projects. You know, I kind of had a little feeling that, that, that this was a special script. In fact, I, my, manager, my manager gave me a heads up, um, and he usually just sends the script with a note, but he decided he needed to call me and tell me that a lot of people are talking about the script, yeah. and it's really, really good. So I kind of had a heads up that, you know, it could be something special, and then I read it, and I just kept thinking to myself, I never really quite read anything like this. Yeah. You know, it kind of floored me. It knocked me out. It had all the things. It had, it had the heart. It had the brains. It had the muscle. Yeah. It had the soul. Yeah. And it was very funny. And yeah. jazz. Yeah. So I was like all in. Yeah, you're like, check, check, check. Yeah, absolutely. And then, of course, the role. Yeah. And I don't get the chance to play roles like this too often, so I was all in. Yeah, let's talk about your character. Um, so you are Monk's agent, and it, it seems like he is totally on board with Monk lying about who he is <laughs> for this book. Like, what kind of guy is he? How do you see him? He's, he's, he's a... He's the type of guy who always wanted to be an agent. Yeah. Since he was a kid. And that takes a... He lives and breathes. Yeah, that's like a really particular kind of person. Yeah. You know, like when they're like seven years old. You know, like you know, most kids want to be the starting shortstop for the New York yeah, Yankees. Right, right. You know, the point guard for the Knicks, right? Yeah, like yeah. me. Yeah. This My kid, kids are like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that totally was me, you know. I just want, you know, and, and, and it just wasn't in, in the cards. Yeah. Um, this kid wanted to be an agent. A literary agent. Yeah. So he's that guy, you know, and he's devoted his whole life to it. And I think part of what he loves about it is not only making money and closing deals, but I think he's a relationship type of guy. Yes, yeah. He really cares about his clients. So yeah. that was important to me to be to really lean into the uh, supportive, loyal well, part. Of, let's talk about that, too, because mm -hmm. you are actually friends with Jeffrey, right? Right. You guys have been friends for a really long time, but you never worked together. That's before. right. That's so right. how did you first meet? And, and does it help to be friends with someone and work with them? Because I feel like that would almost be more challenging. It was kind of a blessing. Yeah. You know, um, speaking of lists and aspirations, once uh, I became an actor, you know, I gave up on wanting to be a shortstop for the yeah, yeah. Yankees, you know. <laughs> but, but the lists that I had were actors I want to work with. And Jeffrey was always on there. Yeah. We met 25 years ago. In the New York theater circles, yeah. I'd watch him in plays, he'd watch me in plays, but we never got a chance to work together. And, you know, I've admired his career since then, and uh, this came about. With this project, what was so great about it was that I had no time to rehearse. Oh. Like, I flew in on a Saturday, and I was on set Monday morning. Oh, my God, that's stressful, right? It was a bit stressful, because, yeah. uh, you know, Arthur's got a lot to say. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> There were a lot of lines there, yeah. you know, and we didn't get the chance to rehearse, but because I knew Jeffrey... It made it a lot we just easier. We just were able to, like, just chill and yeah. be okay with each other and trust each other and lean into the friendship part of it. Well, that obviously worked because the movie is getting so much attention, rave reviews. You can catch American Fiction in theaters starting this Friday. Thank you so much for stopping by and congrats. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Thank you.